if Hell's Fire came up, I'd be the first to jump into it to put it out. He's an angel. He almost killed me the second time I met him. He had a couple wolves. I don't think he's afraid of anything. He's super, superhuman. He took me to a whole nother level. I was paralyzed in a car crash. This helped me walk again. Mike Barwis. 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 I'm Mike Barwis, and this is my world. Built this place just outside of Detroit with a lot of help of my family and my friends. Right, them and the blessing from God. Get up, do. We train everyone from the average Joe to the top athletes in the world. This week, Richard Sherman wants to roll in. This guy's the most popular athlete in the world right now. A lot of people won't cut it here. Come on, Neil. Finish the game. But the ones who do, they're family. Me and my crew, we can be weird. It's not my sign. It's America's sign. Sometimes a little crazy. <laughs> yeah. But we never forget who we are or where we come from. And that's about it. Hey! This place might not look like much, but to me, it's a little piece of heaven. One, two. For over 20 years, I've worked for some of the most prestigious athletic organizations anywhere. But I've always believed you don't just pursue dollars and cents. You find what your passion is, find what you were made to do, and you make it yours. So I took my own route. I opened a gym where I could be around my family and I can embrace and impact the life of every single person who comes through there to make a difference. <laughs> Guys who work here, we're like brothers. Sexy. Mike Barr's got in a fist fight. I'll be knocking that mother out with him. I coached Dan Moses at West Virginia. He was the number one center in the United States of America. He made it to the NFL, but ended up with a career-ending knee injury. I don't want pss, pss, pss. Now Dan works with me as the vice president and director of operations for Barwis Methods. Ah! This is Bling and Blau. <laughs> Eric was an intern for me at the University of Michigan. When we came here, we started him as an assistant strength and conditioning coach. He's proclaimed himself the tank dog. Barwis Methods Training Center, I'm gonna help you. Dusty's the shock and awe at the front door. Am I supposed to look into the camera or? When people come in and there's a 400 pound big man sitting there, they're like, what the? But his heart is every bit as big as his body. Dusty! Time for the Monday meeting. What are you eating? You're at work right now. You brought lunch with you? Yeah. Boys, got cookies. Yeah. Hey, be trying to eat right, and this is what y'all do. Hey, take dog, like you want one? You want a cookie? Yeah, right there, pal. Yeah. What's wrong with you? <laughs> we got there. There's one left. Who ate all the cookies? What the? <laughs> all right, real quick. A couple things. One, the Super Bowl just ended, so we're shifting more to football. Uh, obviously, everybody knows we got all the NFL guys coming back to train off season. A big guy, Chris Neal, is coming in. Whoa! We got Chris Neal, who's a nose guard for the Washington Redskins. Neal's going into his contract year, everything at stake. And guess what? We got James Carpenter in town with the Seahawks. Uh, he was talking to Richard Sherman, and I think Richard Sherman wants to roll in. Oh, uh, no. Yes, sir. Richard Sherman. Huh? Yes, sir. Richard Sherman is a defensive back for the Seattle Seahawks. Just won the Super Bowl. This guy is arguably the best player in the secondary in the NFL. Richard's looking for a new gym with a lot of intensity, but he injured his ankle in a Super Bowl. So he just wants to stop in, check it out. We'll see what we got. So he wants command. He said, yeah. this interview, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I say this, he's got a little bit of balls. He ain't afraid to speak. Richard Sherman gave an explosive interview after he dominated 49er receiver Michael Crabtree in the NFC title game. And the media, they went ahead and labeled this man a thug. I'm definitely gonna ask him about it. I piss on everybody. To me, everybody's like a fire hydrant. <laughs> I like it. Bottom line, we're not changing our intensity anyway. It's hypertrophy. Golly. So he's gonna get a little bit of a showing he ain't ready for. You for real? You got it. We're starting up hypertrophy. My favorite part of the year, period. Hypertrophy. We always start the off season with hypertrophy. It gives us the base and the foundation for what we have to do over the next few months. It's aggressive, it's edgy, it's intense. It suits me the best when it comes to my personality. 
So in that hypertrophy phase, I expect it intense, I expect it aggressive, and I expect us to push these through the wall. Yeah. Any questions? Let's get the <laughs> out of here. Get the <laughs> everybody get the out of here. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Let's kick it off. Come on. Let's go right in. I like life. I like energy. I like fire. So you come into this gym. Everybody in here has got an aggression in them that does nothing but motivate the individual next to them. Barbara Smith is training center. How may I help you? People think, oh, you're just training athletes. No, we have professional athletes. We have high school athletes. Good. We have that guy who wishes he was once, one time a high school athlete. Good. I help people with disabilities. People who are paralyzed for now walking. We have a gal that wants to lose weight for her wedding. Come on. Super Bowl champions. Impressive. Young guys trying to get to the NFL. Two more inches. The reality is it's about what comes from inside. Right there. Where's your fire? Where's your heart? What are you willing to pay to get where you want to go? Because in this gym, we're always going to push you to the edge.